Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Bob DiMaria with another episode of Ask Dr. Bob. Questions from all over the world. In regard to a recent post that we made on social media in reference to thyroid and iodine, this person had a, a question about their being allergic to fish and have to take an EpiPen and they have challenges with tree nuts and wanted to know what some of my thoughts were when it came to iodine. You know, probably a good idea, but plant-based marine vegetation could be an answer as a source of iodine. That's just one thought. So, so take it with that. Obviously we use a an iodine here in the office and I'm going to answer another question in a moment. Should I take thyroid medication? I used to be a twig then all of a sudden I'm 170 pounds. So there's a lot of reasons that people can gain weight. I, my suggestion would be to have a thyroid panel, a TSH, a T3, a T4, and even a TPO. So you can drill down to find out what the real cause of your weight is. Just be aware that lots of carbs will cause you to increase your weight and so will adrenal exhaustion. I have hypothyroid. I'm allergic to MRI contrast. Is that the same kind of iodine? And can I take supplements? You know, I really don't know what they use for the MRI um, type of contrast. When it comes to taking iodine supplements, this is something that we have learned in our office. We use a neonatal glandular product sourced from parotid tissue, and that helps our practice members work with their iodine. You know, many years ago, I was a New Year's Eve, and I had a lobster tail, and I did have an anaphylactic type of shock, but I've never really had an issue since then. So sometimes I wonder if it was in the fish that you consumed. You don't want to eat bottom-consuming fish. What causes high testosterone in a woman? Ovarian cyst. Eating lots of carbs will do that too. Is there any danger or recourse in taking apple cider vinegar and liquid magnesium? Not that I'm aware of. You know, I have people that take both of them all the time. Uh, apple cider vinegar is a great digestive aid. What would you suggest with sleep being so uh, important? What side should you sleep on? Here's what I'd like to show you. Your heart's located right here. So what I would suggest you do is lay on your right side because the blood will flow back into your heart without placing a demand on, I'm sorry, I have it backwards. This is the right atrium here. As the blood flows back into the heart, it won't place such a great demand on heart function. Really some wonderful basic questions. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.